Hi everybody. I can't tell you how many times I've been asked how do braces work. It's a bit like asking a mechanic how does a car work. There's actually a little bit more to it than you might think. In the beginning though, the critical thing is that the orthodontist places the brackets in the right spots so that when the braces work, the teeth line up. If the brackets don't go on right, the teeth don't line up right. In the beginning then, the process is for those very thin wires to just put gentle forces on and line up the bracket slots. The slot's like a groove in the bracket that the wire lies in. And so if the um, brackets have been well positioned, once the wire becomes flat, the teeth are pretty close to in line. But then people say to me, when I have my braces tightened, is there something that you tighten up? Well, no. Braces feel tight no matter what I do to them. And so whenever you come to an, have an adjustment done, when you walk out the next day or two, the sensation is of tightness, but there's no big screw up the back that I wind up with a screwdriver. It's simply from putting pressure on the teeth, which is what drives orthodontic tooth movement. Tooth movement itself is interesting. The pressure causes the roots of the teeth to push against the bone that causes a change in the cells in the tissue fluids around the tooth and that causes bone to dissolve. That makes a gap that the tooth can move into. And if you think about the other side, it stretches it and that causes filling behind it. It's the basis of all orthodontics and thank goodness it works because I wouldn't have a job if it didn't. The next stage though is what orthodontists call mechanics. And what that really is talking about is fixing bite problems. And that's traditionally done in fairly strong wires, sometimes steel, sometimes titanium, molybdenum alloy, and there's others. It's also the phase where most commonly you're using rubber bands or elastics to pull the teeth this way or that. And again, I get asked a lot, how do elastics work and what do you use them for? Well, they can be put in any position so they can move teeth in almost any direction, but think of it this way, that the elastics are moving groups of teeth usually, not so often just moving one tooth. The other part of mechanics is generally enclosing any spaces, whether they were natural spaces, spaces from missing teeth, or in those cases which have had teeth out, closing those spaces. The third and final phase, traditionally in orthodontics, is called finishing, and that's where guys like me put little tiny bends in the wire so that fine adjustments can be made to the stiffer wires to detail individual tooth positions. Now you might wonder why that would be necessary when we go to so much trouble to put our brackets on perfectly. And the answer is the teeth vary in their anatomy. Some teeth are smaller, some teeth are thicker, some teeth are thinner, narrower. And so those variations, even if the brackets are put on perfectly, can mean that the basic alignment that we achieve in the beginning of treatment isn't perfect. And that's where some of the real skill comes into orthodontics is in that final detailing phase, making everything just perfect. And that's how braces work.